Northwestern playing host to Michigan, knowing full well one more quality win and a win over the Wolverines would qualify, likely sends the Cats to their first ever NCAA tournament. First half, Ryan McIntosh, he's the guy who drives this Northwestern engine, has been all year long, stops and pops at 13, Cats up by five. Don't forget about Nate Taphorn. He's hit big shots and tough shots. He will also factor in big time later in this one. Cats up as many as 11 in the first half, but Michigan getting some nice minutes from Debo, Duncan Robinson, all eight of his coming in the first half, including that beautiful reverse layup. Wolverines down by two at the break. It's 30-28 Northwestern. Second half, it's time for Derek Walton to take over. The unbelievable look ahead to Muhammad Ali Abdur Rahman for the one-handed Thunder Chunky. And then it's Walton stepping in, stepping back. I'll take all four of those, thank you very much. DeWalt had 15 and 6. Ten minutes to go. Northwestern up two. Taphorn finds Derek Pardon cutting and scoring. Cats up by four. Michigan now up by two. Until so McIntosh finds Scotty Lindsay on the back door. We are tied up at 60. Michigan down two. 90 seconds to go. Zach Irvin, the miss, gets his own follow and scores to tie things up once again. Same score, five seconds to go. Irvin can't connect. Off Mo Wagner. Northwestern gets the ball after the clock reset. 1.7. And how about Nate Taphorn? 92 feet of perfection to Derek Pardon, who finishes just beating the buzzer. 67 65 is the final. Northwestern setting records and likely inside the field of 68. Stephen Bardo took in all the madness and handles the post game reaction. Well, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to ask you. How you feeling? I feel good. <laughs> it's not easy to win in this league. And, you know, after what we went through Saturday night, to come here, to have the game pressure, to execute the home run play, the pardon to finish it, what a way in front of these fans. It couldn't be sweeter. Is this the game that's going to get you over the hump for the tournament, you think? I don't know. I love my team. I think we're good enough. If you have 10 wins in this league, you have five wins on the road. I think you should, but we're just going to keep fighting. Talk about the resiliency of your guys coming down the stretch. You know it was in the back of their mind what happened last game, but they were able to pull out this victory. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on our guys, you know, and we tried hard to just keep fighting. And to cross that bridge, though, you got to deal with the pressure. You got to take it on, and you got you to succeed when it's on the table, and that's what our guys did tonight. Derek. I know it's a lot of relief going on right now. Tell me how you feeling. I feel great. I feel, words can't explain how we feel right now. It's a great win for the program. We know we need to win this game. We told ourselves we're going to die before we lose this game. I feel like we fought this game. Yes, sir, baby. Tell me, take me through the last play. How did it evolve to where you got one-on-one -on -one with one of the Michigan guards underneath the bucket? So one of our assistant coaches, Coach James, he told me to set a double screen for Scott and BMAC, and then he said slip, and they was going to throw the ball up to me. He said, in so many words, catch the ball and score. So that's what I did. Well, go, go enjoy it with your teammates. Congratulations, big fella. Great finish. Thank you.